Uh, today I want to talk to you about some fixtures that I use when I'm building or machining out AR-15s. Um, latest one, I had <clears throat> a different upper upper receiver block to lock into a vise to tighten down the barrel nut, but I wasn't really happy with it. So what I did was I took some 1 inch by 2 inch bar stock aluminum and I made a new fixture so I can lock it in the vise when I need to tighten down the barrel nut. And uh, anyone can make these if you have a mill, but I'll show you how it works here. Um, basically, you just take your lockdown pins and put that in, put in the rear, like so, and it's pretty sturdy, doesn't move around, and it locks it down in place really well. Uh, I just made this up. I'd seen some other designs. I had one that I really didn't care for, but... Uh, I made this, it seems to give a lot better bite in the vise, and uh, it turned out good. Machined it down here so I can put uh, free float barrel nuts on, which is all I use. So that's what it looks like. Uh, you, I made it so it comes up inside the receiver, as you can see. So that way it doesn't get wobble, but because of the way I made the rear holes here, it doesn't have any anyway. Uh, my next fixture, I bought the 80% fixture here, has all the holes in it, but what I didn't buy was the upper one, which was an outline of the rear trigger pocket, and so what I did was I took a piece of one half inch aluminum plating, and you can see I made the outline, machined it in there, well first what I did is I made an outline using just like one eighth inch plexiglass, machined it out with an existing receiver, and then basically put it on top of here and just had the holes already drilled in it. So I just machined it out and it uh, works really well. I've used it on one receiver so far and uh, it does a really nice job. What you want to do is just sink your end mill down in here far enough to where it's just riding along this edge. And then just basically follow an outline of it. You see it works really well. So anybody out there who might have some ideas on how to do on this stuff, you can see you don't need to buy it. If you have a mill, basic machining skills, you can make all this fixturing to do your builds or your machining. So I thought I'd share this with you. Uh, anyone out there who may be interested in doing this, this is how I did it.